it. You're welcome. This is all about um, saving, you know, saving your effects. You know, generally I have I have a billion like knobs on here. I have a bunch of options, and I I can find an, my awesome tone and find exactly what I want. Right? Um, let's say I love that tone so much, and I'm and you know I'm like I have to go away for a week, and I'm worried some my family is gonna you know change something, or is gonna or maybe I'm like traveling, and maybe I'm worried one of the knobs will get moved in the case. Maybe I have a, this great tone for one song, but the next set or the next song is a completely different tone. I don't have time between songs to switch. So basically, that's why you'd want to save some of your desired settings in uh, in what we call a memory bank. Yes. So step one, uh, you can press both of these pedals at the same time, and you go into memory mode. You'll know you're in memory mode because when you're not, there's a little light next to manual to let you know you're in manual mode. Boom, now we're not, because the light's gone. Now we're in memory mode. Yay! So, there are 10 banks that we have to choose from. And you can store a certain amount of uh, patches in each bank. You can store three patches in each bank. So that's a total of 30 different settings, 30 different tones, 30 different, you know, board settings that I can save into uh, into here. So let's say every knob that I have right here is, is perfect just the way I like it. When I get all of this perfect the way I like it, and if I was to save this into my memory, then I would, then that's called a patch. Now it's, it's our, that's, we could call that, you know, patch, whatever. So this is our patch. We would save it into the memory and it would be, the term is patch, that's all I'm trying to say. So it could be patch, patch two in bank seven. Ta-da. Anywho, let's do this. So scenario, right? This is what I want to save. So I'm going to go ahead and press, this is what I want to save and I'm in manual mode, right? So I'm going to go ahead and press right, bop, and then the bank will start blinking. So at this time, we have the ability to switch between banks using these two knobs here. I mean, these two buttons, All right? Um, so let's say I want to say I, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a random bank for no reason. Uh, I'm gonna save this patch in bank five. So now we have the opportunity. Now that we're in bank five, we have three different spots we could save our patch in. So like I said, there's three spaces in each bank. So those spaces are represented by the pedals. So like if I want to save it in the first space, I could just press that pedal. If I want to save it in the second space, I'd put it in that one. If I want to save it in the third space, in bank five, then, you know. So I want to save this bank five, the first slot one. So you go to bank five, press on the pedal representing slot one. And now I can press right again, blinks a few times, and boom. It's permanently in bank five, slot one. So now, second situation, I have another awesome sound, right? Turn some knobs around. Actually, I want everything where it is. But turn some knobs around. Okay, new sound. Uh, I'm going to save this one too. So like last time, I'll press right. Uh, I want to save it in bank five also. Maybe it's just the second half of a song has a different tone. So now I'm going to, um, you know, I want it in bank five, and I'm going to put it in spot two. So I'll just select two, press right, and boom, it's in there. Right, so now when I'm in memory mode, halfway through the song, I can switch between my tones. So right now I'm on my tone one, I'm playing the song, la 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 la, and then, oh man, chorus is coming, boom, chorus tone, and everything changes. Ta-da! Okay, how to edit. So, let's say like a week goes by, or maybe I change my mind, and, uh, you know, spot two and bank five, I, I want to change one little thing. So, there's a button for that edit button yeah so I'll go ahead and press edit and then this is where it gets great that I use this all the time so now uh, let's say I wanted to edit something in this this area I can edit like like don't worry like it's very scarce with the editing so like it's not gonna like if you press edit it's not gonna change everything uh, until you press like a knob so like if I want let's say I liked the exact modulation settings that were in that bank except I just wish that there was less less level so I could just turn down the level 
and like everything else in the modulation would stay the same as it was before except for this level so it's nice and you can be very, very specific and it's not going to ruin things you know so boom now that I've, I've made my edit I don't want to press edit again because I would just exit out of it I'm going to press right and then it'll, uh, it's kind of like a last final check is that what you want to do this, the, the spaces that you made your edit in will start will be blinking right so like if I also wanted to wanted to make an edit in my reverb section then that would be blinking too so everything that I made my edit in would be blinking to let me know you know if I yeah anyways you get the idea so then I press right and boom it ta -da, it's permanently oh I gotta press right twice now it's permanently saved ta -da. you can uh, some questions I had was can you also do, adjust the master level in some of your patches and yeah that that's a knob that can be adjusted in each of them uh, it gets a little weird when you start using like the tap and the hold functions or like set tempo uh, you can let check out the manual for that it's still pretty simple though it's just a little a little extra something to keep in mind so that's it um, ta -da. so I personally um, you can plug in a piano pedal any kind of pedal honestly into the back of it and you can use this as a way to switch between banks and then you know I gotta go to bank 9 so boom bank 9 patch 1 that's what I needed to do so the only thing is um, while you're in like patch memory mode you know if I yeah, the, basically these pedals don't work for anything except for changing patches while you're in <laughs> memory mode um, so that's I think that's one kinda drawback but uh honestly it's it's pretty cool oh drawback number two actually so if I was to be playing my guitar and I was to uh, you know the course is coming up I gotta change patch one boom there's a there's actually like a little cutout uh, in your sound it like it turns off and on pretty quick it like cuts in and out when you change so it's not smooth Actually, it's really noticeable. It's not smooth at all when you change patches. So you have to find a quiet spot in the song. It sucks. Now you know.